Hello friends. Today I want to talk about how you could find web elements um, in order to automate the testing. First thing is finding element is very crucial that web driver always looks for a web element before it would interact. If it does not find something that is part of the web element, then it would just say I don't find it, right? And so what are the elements elements are anything that you can see in the page it could be just text it could be any options any drop downs it could be any link it could be text it could be header it could be anything anything you can see here right anything so even plain text is also the element <clears throat> so you need to find out these elements before webdriver would look for Okay. There are several ways which you can interact with these elements and ways uh, there are some tricks that you can find them. So I have you know, uh, listed some of the options or all of the options that you can use in order to find them. One is by ID, by name, class name, CSS selector, expat, tag name, link text, parcel link text. What is ID? ID is the identifier as ID which is defined in page when they developed. What is name? Same thing. Class name? These are the identifiers that is part of those text when they defined them. So here if you see, these are the tag. This thing, this angle bracket or tag. This tag closes just like XML does. This is the text inside these tags. Okay, that's how the HTMLs are written. Now, when you see what are the IDs or attributes we're looking for, when they write this tag, they would write something like this. Okay, there would be A would have some link, href link. There would be ID. There would be name. There will be class name. Class name would be class. Okay. Name is name. By ID ID. If it's class, you would call as a class name. CSS selector and expats are the constructors. So you have to construct them, right? You have to construct them based on these attributes you have. And there are some link text and parcel link text. These are outside of this tag. Okay rest of these things are inside of this tag that's where you try to find out you're looking for link text and parcel link text then you look after this guy and before it closes that's where you look for the text you're looking for text which is a link that's how you find out okay uh, when I go to this um, let's go to some page and show you what we're trying to do so this is a site that I tried to launch, okay? Uh, I'm there, right? This is the home page as soon as it launches. I want to click the computers. And then I want to verify there are three things here. And then I click into the notepad, which is the second one. Then what I want to do here is I want to validate these options are there. Like I'm in the notepad page. I validate the URL is there um, and then I validate you know maybe also validate one of these items right at least I want to make sure this is not empty it is it has some values on it right so those are the things that I want to validate the product may differ in the real time the product may differ it is not hard coded right these are the items that are in stock and is sellable so those are changing but at least my goal is there are at least one item so that it is not empty. That's all my goal. Okay, so to do that, let's go to some coding work. Okay, I already have a before method. So before step setup method, all it does is it enters the URL for me. If I want to go to mydriver.driver, that is the one driver that opens up the browser, okay? 
this is already written I showed you in my other video how to get this so you you have this driver if there is no driver open just launch me a chrome driver that's where it is written so let's go to that and I'm going to write a test because I need to run the test as you chain it public void my laptop deals maybe like that let me import this test this is a JUnit test okay that is there so now first thing I want to do is once this is launched I want to pick this drop down okay this drop down and let's find that out what is that so I need to right click inspect I'm in a Chrome so I would do inspect and I zoomed this so that you could see so let's see so first of all there's this arrow thing you would click here once it turns blue that's when it will start highlighting things so now you know for, go through this try to hover until you want this highlighted to the element which you're looking for so I go to US dollar I want to find that guy I click there then I see select ID select is the tag that tells that is the drop down okay anytime you see select that is the drop down ID is the identifier for that select item name is same as ID so that is also name so you have two options either you can use name or you could use ID one or the other and then select tag ends here and there if you see those are the options if you see there those are the options you have right there's an option called euro there's an option called US dollar okay so now you see I have two options inside that options I will just open this up and I see option one if you want to do this way just go through that that there's options right option is US dollar or the notebook so that's how you figure out and US dollar is a text okay we'll go through that how we do that let's do that I'm copying this select ID because in order to perform that selection from the drop down I need to select the ID I'm going to copy this I want to go here first thing I want to do is my driver driver dot find element by dot ID those are the select ID right okay that is my ID so I'm going to define this as um, that's a drop down okay so this is the web element I'm talking about I need to import this web e capital okay once I have there's a for the drop downs you have to use some special rules which is called is equal to new select like that okay let's open that up this is also to be imported you have to use the top one selenium support select okay now that selects now what we use we need to select dot select by index is going to give me the first value by select dot select by so if you see here there are so many options select by value select by visible text by index or deselect if it is already selected so I'm going to select by visible text but now I need to give the text which I want to select so I want to select US and this is a case sensitive so it has to be exactly same even if there is a space you have to maintain the space so these three things you could use in order to select this US dollar into the drop down or you could do that in one line with 
copy this whole thing just do new new select go to that whole thing dot dot select by visible text same thing I just I just typed the same thing all I did is instead of select I just pick this instead of calling this guy I replace that here and then drop down is this whole thing I put that in one line and then all I use is this value okay so up to you however you want I try to make shorter scripts so I want to use the single line but if you are starting you go with this path so that you understand exactly what this is doing okay now we selected let's move further so once I there I need to click this guy okay let's find that out what is this guy okay there is a top menu okay and if you see that top menu is the one that holds all of the menus okay now what I want is I want to first go to, to that top menu and click into the computer okay if you see that top menu into the computer this first ally is the one that has a computer's text which is an A okay first ally gets A so let's copy that you have two options now my driver dot find element by dot link text appears computers dot click okay so this will click to the computer but if you come into the page there's computers here too regardless of where it clicks it goes to the same page but let's say you want to go to this guy then you need to be more certain so that time you want to use these things called xpath or css selector because your page does not give you more options here you need to go through this construction let's go through how you do see, uh, css okay css is this piece you write same thing find element by dot here where you define css selector now the selector is the name that you would identify right let's put that click there so let's form the css selector for that guy so css calls how does that go so that is do like this let's put that in one line we don't need this so here's CSS selector let's go through the page okay so when you come here blue so that is the hair menu inside the hair menu top menu top menu is the class name okay class name let's pick that guy Okay. Then if it's a CSS selector, obviously I need two of these. And then I would put dot top menu. Okay. In CSS selector, the dot defines that is the I uh, class name. In in the pound key like this defines that's the ID. Because I have a class name, I'm going to do this. Okay now there's one thing called anchor tag anchor closing tag anchor closing tag tells that this is followed by this thing so what do you tell when you come here it will come here and it will look for something called li li tag you want to go into li tag in order to go to computer okay so what do you do li it's just write like that however that tag is now what do you want you want to find out that tag a right li all our li and then a right 
then you have a then what you do this is a find element okay by default it is going to look for the first one that is available but here's the thing there are duplicates all are lia electronics all are lia if you just wanted to click the first one this is also fine it will just click there but that is not the best practice um let's go to this part and show you what how far we have been up to okay it's going to click the us dollar and then it is going to click that computer okay it is launching the browser Okay, so it is there, it is still spinning, went to home page, I clicked computer and it goes through, okay, because it is finding the first guy here, it did not even look for other one, okay, because I said find element, but that is not certain, that's not guaranteed that it is always going to click the first guy, we want to do something more, okay, so that's what we do instead of find element I want to go to find elements so what I want here is I have find elements so I need to get the list web element my list equals this so I'm just identifying I haven't clicked anything yet so what this will do is it is going to let's import this list so this would be obviously util dot list. So because there are common elements, that's how we get through the collections, right? There are common elements. There's so many options. We want to identify. Maybe we want to click the fourth one, right? Who knows? And and each of the identifiers are same. So which means a similar attributes will be represented by collections. So we need to go through collections here. So what I'm getting is I'm getting the array list of anything that has these similarities, right? And then I want to click into the first one, okay? Now it will go to first, second, third, and fourth. So what I'm doing now is my list dot get, and that because I want to click into the notebook this time, I would click computers first, right? So computers get zero starts from zero dot click so it is going to click me to the computers at this link not this one now I have specified that so once it, once it clicks here I want to validate there are three icons okay so let's do that what are those icons so let's find out these icons I'm validating there are three icons okay I click blue same way I did so I click this desktop so here this is called a title right there's a title and then if you want to go a step up I want to get this guy up there let's click this subcategory item okay so subcategory item is for everything called a desktop okay so when I go to next guy, okay, subcategory item, now you can drag this guy here too, same thing. So div item box, subcategory item, another div item box, subcategory item, right? So same thing applies to everybody and it is by class name. Let's copy that. Now this time I'm going to just use the same way as a list, but the class name, okay? list okay my icon equals my driver 
the driver dot find elements not the element but the one if you see here these are the one that is going to return you the list of web elements if you select the second one it is just going to return you one element we don't want one first we need to find out if there are three right s by dot it's a class name so enter the class name the value there and then just leave that there. So now my icon represents you there are three. Okay, how do you validate? In J init, there's a assert, something called assert that validates. There, there, they have so many methods, that static method that you can validate. Okay, so let's go to that assert. Assert true, my, icon dot size size is a size of that array equals three there are three icons right and here you can add one more thing called message if it does not come true then it will show let's see one second let's say that is not okay Okay, it didn't take the parameter. So, assert true, my icon dot size is equal to 3. If it is not 3, then it will throw me the error. We'll show you how it fails, okay? So, I validated that. That's how we validate in the test. Now, I validated there are 3 icons. Now, what I want is I want to click into the second one, okay? That's my scenario. I want to click here, not here now. I click this guy. I come here. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we want to assert that too. It's fine too. Copy that guy. Assert true. My list. My list of size is called seven. So now it will validate there are seven items, menu items, right? And it is clicking the first one, right? Same thing, uh, there are three icons on the laptop and it is clicking me the third one, right? That's how you would use the array list in the web element. It's a collections. Now I did that. Now I want to click into the second guy. Okay, my icon dot get. Second one is called one dot click. Okay, now I get that. So it clicked here. Let's do that manually, what it does. Once you land there, first thing, let's validate the URL is true. Assert true. Uh, my driver dot driver dot get current URL. Okay. Uh, let's put that here on uh, dot equals let's put that URL okay if it is not true it will just fail there so first thing I validated the URL is correct now what I do I want to go to next step let's see I want to validate this guy okay let's click here I want to get that header okay h1 okay so that's called page title there's an option called h1 let's get that okay let's get that so Assert, assert true. Um, my driver dot driver dot find element by dot class name because that's what you have, right? Class name with the after two parentheses you do dot get text. Okay, now you want to read the text dot. You have two options one you can do equals then which is going to look exactly and another is the contents okay 
I also put the contains it's called notebooks if that header is containing notebooks then we're fine okay so if you come here notebooks is the text and text is after the tag div and then notebook okay this div is a class name inside this drop down that's what it means you see that then notebooks that's the text of that guy and it is highlighted so when we go here i said okay assert the true by class name up to here you already know all i'm adding is dot get text and then it's a method so you put two parentheses there dot contains so get text is going to give me that text called notebooks and now I'm validating that notebook contains notebooks okay so this is what we do here so true okay so basically this is the expected values okay this is what you can get actual from that that particular area so I validated I'm in the notepad now what I do is I want to get these values okay I have a drop downs and I have one icon let's hurry up sort by let's get the select ID now I'm not doing what options it has all I'm doing is that is there so select what I do here my driver dot find element by dot um, ID right dot exist is displayed let's say so you could use is displayed is the boolean okay is displayed is going to validate that is there and that is the method so you would put like that okay so that validates that is there and then let's see one more thing here I want to validate this is also displayed let's go to laptop then icon what options you can use so details for laptop it's an anchor tag with this guy title okay so that's what I want or what is this that's what I want anchor tag inside the title so we wrote that again so let's write that this is true my driver driver dot find element by dot what do you want here you want to use a CSS or expat it's the same thing let's use expat now because we use CSS so you know how you write expat that let's complete this statement first dot is displayed okay so let's write the xpath here so for xpath and opposed to CSS okay look at this so xpath you do double slash a a is for tag and then open this square bracket and then here add the red title equals single code okay don't put double code paste here so that's the xpath how it is so all I'm doing is this is the title I copied from HTML I said slash slash a and the rate title equals this and after single quote ends I close the square bracket and then I close the entire xpath piece okay after that it is just like here right double quote and the double uh, parenthesis then dot displayed you could do this by just you could do this also it is the same thing okay and then now you say lm dot displayed if you want to make your life easier you can just do this first find the element and element is displayed okay 
so we did that also there are other ideas so whatever options you have you know try to play with that so you have IDs you have drop downs you have a link text you have a text and if you want to read the text then you say okay these categories you want to read right you want to read categories then categories is obviously in the body tag so assert my driver dot driver dot find element by dot tag name right body is the tag name dot get text dot contains because there are so many words in that body tag then all you do is that okay so that's all you do so it says inside the body tag and when you retrieve the text of that body tag which is going to read, read the entire thing in here and all it validates is that entire thing once you get the text that contains categories that's what I'm saying okay so here that's what I'm saying and then let's run this out okay <clears throat> run as jnit running launching the browser okay, okay. computer and then it went in a uh, notebooks it got in there it clicked into the notebooks and it may have validated this uh, options and then if you see the green bar is there which means the test completed now you can add one more line here with the after test so that is going to close the browser for you you can put that anywhere it doesn't need to be top or bottom so you don't have to close the browser so it's a tear down or close browser whatever you want to write it's the same thing there's no naming convention it's just the method okay I want to just close this and I will say instead of launching now closing okay let's run one more time and then we'll go from here run as chain it running recap so I created this uh, test class as a before method in order to enter the URL after method to close the browser once it's done and inside this I have a select selector drop down to select the drop downs to select the drop down you could use first define the web element of that drop downs with a selector ID once you get the select ID with the select tag in the HTML defined here as a web element and then call out this select class with a select new select with a drop down it needs the web element as a parameter okay so web element as a parameter so pass that web element and then use this one dot select by visible text and give the text value okay this is the method and then it is going to do that 
um, you could do that in one single line too uh, just call new select and then give that whole thing um, next thing is I want to click the computers computer was like multiple areas so I want to click more specifically onto the top menu so I called out from that with this tag and to CSS selector you could use tag name or class name in this case because you're using as a list okay and then you want to click the first one which is a computer here line number 41 clicks the computer then I will go to icon validation I'm going I defined this icon also same as this array list find elements and then I am doing asserting my icon this guy dot size equals 3 and then I want to click the second one which is get one okay now I'm adding some more assertion with URL is validated with the notebooks I'm in the notebook page you know and there are three uh, the product or by icons are displayed in the laptop and then uh, sorry notebooks and then I go to web element here I'm validating that one of the product is displayed as listed right then also I'm validating their categories is still displayed into the page which is a simple text nothing else so that I took the body text because there's no attributes defined so there are so many things we use you know we use the XPath we use a tag name we use ID we use names we also use a CSS selector we use a name class names we could use name also if that is available so when we come to our initial thing we have covered pretty much everything we have a link text too we could use dot link text and provide that link text or we can use a partial link text right instead of the whole thing we could use partial link text so these are pretty much to cover and we're about to hit more time um, I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope you get quite understanding of how finding elements into selenium works and doing assertion as a validation works um, and what are the parameters it requires how you would use array list into selenium in order to find the elements uh, you have to get the generics defined with the web element and then get the collections of similar and one more thing if, if there was only one item still you could use this I mean it's not a good practice but still you could use this so it won't fail okay so don't get confused even if you have one item system it will pass you don't have to get two or more uh, to get collections and then we have a drop downs you know this is pretty interesting so uh, I hope you know please go ahead and do more practices and and get more hands-on and if you get stuck somewhere please come back to the video and and look back you know these are like the last lines Okay, thank you very much. Hope uh, this has been helpful and please continue to watch my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.